The first thing we're going to do is start with a mystery box. But not for you. For them. <laughs> Judges down here, contestants. If they're cooking, you know what that means. That means you are judging. Yeah! This is your chance now to channel your inner Matt, George, Gary and Shannon. <laughs> I'm loving the fact that the boys get to spend a day in our shoes. I'm pretty interested to see how they cope with the mystery box. George, you seem a bit nervous. How, um, how are you feeling? Um, look, very nervous. Obviously, uh, you know, amazing chefs beside me. A lot of respect for them. But look, you know, I'm ready. <laughs> Under each box, we have one single ingredient from every mystery box that we've had throughout the competition so far. That means there could be things like jicama or even crickets. You have 60 minutes to create one dish using at least one of the ingredients out of your mystery box. Righto, gentlemen, off to your benches. I think we're this way. You can lift your lids now. <laughs> Where are the crickets? No crickets today. No crickets, good. Are you familiar with a few of these ingredients? Uh, White miso. miso. Kohlrabi. Kohlrabi. We've got some parsley here. Ginger wine. That was in Billy's first mystery box. Right, OK. Um, monkfish. Honestly, it looks like my, my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> George, use garlic before. Is that what it is? That's garlic. Oh. Give it a smell. Thank you. <laughs> Dates. Some fennel pollen. So pretty much spoiled for choice. Um, so I guess, you know, we're expecting nothing short of brilliance. <laughs> George is giving me daggers. <laughs> Shannon, Gary, George, you're about to compete head-to-head -head in a mystery box. We have some different rules today. Number one, no biting, no gouging, and no fist pumping. If there is any fist pumping or gouging, I will be forced to use either the yellow card or <laughs> the red oh, card. Yes! Yes! I love that! <laughs> it's like a soccer match today. If you go outside the boundaries, you're going to be either hit with the yellow card or the red card. If you hit with the red card, you have to sit out. So the judges will need to watch out. I'm wearing an apron today because Gary, as you know, is injured and he may at some point fall over and need a substitute, so I'm there. Gary, just standing by if you need a hand. Helena. Your time starts now. Oh, oh. All right, let's go. I am genuinely nervous, genuinely nervous. I think they're definitely all feeling the pressure, but serves them right after what they put us through. Gaz, what are you doing? I'm going to use the cauliflower, the monkfish, maybe make a date puree, something along those lines. Right. Come on, Gary. Monkfish is not something you see every day. It's a beautiful fish, actually. A really beautiful fish. No wonder you wanted the back area. Hey? It's ridiculous. <laughs> no, I told you, didn't I? Like... Go, Shannon! Mm, OK, let me think, let me think. Should I roast this on the bone? Shannon, what are you actually doing? Can you I'll tell me? I'll let you me? know in another five minutes. I'll let oh. you know. <laughs> I think Shannon is bumbling a bit, but no doubt he'll use those two hats to his advantage and pull something out of one of them. Shannon, how are you going? Uh, at this stage, yeah, good, good. I'm a little bit concerned. Are you using all these ingredients? Uh, at this stage, no. OK. But uh, I, I plan to. So, Shannon, what's the dish? Crusted monkfish oh. with a beautiful broth. That's, that's what I'm doing. So, it, so you're just going to put some water and miso together and bring in some miso broth with some monkfish? I'm not leaving my secrets out here, Matt. Not, 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 no, no, I, no. You know, normally when a contestant mm -hmm. says that to us, at least, it normally means they have... No, no idea. idea. <laughs> I'm not playing this game, I know. So... Good luck, Shannon. <laughs> Hi, George. Hi. What ingredients are you using today? You know what I'm going to try doing a little um, cannelloni. I'm going to make a brand ad for it out of the monkfish cauliflower miso. Okay. I'm going to try and use the kohlrabi as the pasta sheet. 
We'll see how we go. George is making a brand art for his cannelloni filling. It's a Mediterranean spread. It's usually made with salted cod, olive oil and potatoes. And you've done that before? Uh, not with monkfish. He's using monkfish, which means he's going to have to salt it to get that traditional brandade flavour. Do you think that's a good idea? Um, personally, no, but Let's go. Um, we'll let you think about that one. Boys, 15 minutes down, 45 to go. Your reputation is on the line. Shannon, George and Gary are competitive. Their reputations are at stake, but they're out of their comfort zone. They're not in their own kitchens. Do you not have scissors on your bench? You have to go and get it. This is ridiculous. Yeah. They're using domestic equipment. Matt? Yeah? How do you get this thing open? <laughs> there we go, Georgie. Hey, George, Gary, do you need anything while I'm here? I, th I think I'm good. <laughs> Just call me on the mobile if you do. OK, done. <laughs> Gee, you're looking very, very organised, Gary, compared to the other two contestants. Uh, I've really struggled with that fish, actually. I thought that would be easier to get off the bone because it's a small fish. I've got lots and lots of little bones that I've had to trim out. Carcass is in here. So I've made a little miso ginger wine sauce. I'm doing a date puree. Mm. One thing, uh, Gary. Yes? Maybe you should think about um, the depth of flavour in them. Maybe smoking it, I don't know, something like that. Oh, smoking it would be nice. Boom, boom, shake the room. 30 minutes to go. Matt, can you come and open that? We walk up to George's bench. Matt's been helping him work his equipment, and now George is trying to get Matt to open a jar for him. Mr. Colin Burris? Yes. It's a yellow card for getting a contestant to help you. What do you mean? Matt's hit George with a yellow card for breaking the rules and stepping outside the boundaries. You have to open your own <laughs> things. <laughs> oh, no. If he keeps this up, he could be smacked with a red card, which means he'll have to sit out. Could be goodbye, Georgie.